Good morning, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Forgotten Favorites. This is the show here on the channel. We're doing each and every day throughout the month of August, where I'm going to be giving you a, a cool little rarity from my vast collection of uh, heavy metal, prog rock, jazz fusion, classic rock, hard rock, all that sort of stuff. Uh, these are going to be albums that uh, maybe you've never heard of, by bands you've never heard of, or could be a band maybe you have heard of, maybe you never listened to the album, or maybe it's just an album by a pretty known band that just nobody ever seems to talk about. But the important thing is they're all favorites of mine, might be forgotten by some, not always forgotten by me, but sometimes maybe I haven't listened to these in quite a while. So for me, it's also kind of cool to dig these out of the stacks and give them another listen and say, wow, yeah, I remember why I like this so much. So today we're going to take a look at a, uh, another interesting fusion record. This one from 1975 from Italy. The band is called Etna, self-titled. Unknowingly, George Lemie uh, kind of gave this one all away on last night's In the Prog Seat show. This was actually one of his picks from 1975. Pretty cool, George. Uh, yeah, this is a great one. Uh, I had... I had uh, Pulled this one out a couple days ago, knowing I was going to do it this week, and then lo and behold, there it was one of your favorite picks from 1975 last night, which was pretty cool. So uh, this is a band, all instrumental stuff, comprised of uh, Carlo Penisi on guitars and mandolin, Antonio Marangola on keyboards and clarinet. You got uh, Elio Volpini on all sorts of different basses, and you've got uh, Agostino Marangolo on drums and percussion. I'm assuming those two, uh, Antonio and a Agostino are both uh, siblings, right? So uh, this was originally released on the T Katoka label in 1975 in Italy, re-released and reissued in 1994 on uh, Mellow Records on CD, uh, also once again on uh, Bella Antique uh, in 2010 in Japan. So this happens to be the... Uh, 2000, I mean 1994 CD on Mellow Records. There you have it. Let's see if I can get you a little shot of the guys because there's not much included here. There they are, right there. So, uh, you know, in keeping the spirit of like Italian fusion from that same time period, you know, think uh, these guys are not all that, you know, there's some similarities to like Aria or Arti Mistieri, uh, maybe a little bit of Goblin, but more importantly, uh, seeing as this is a guitar, bass, keyboards, drums configuration, you'll hear a lot of similarities to re classic Return to Forever, Mahavishnu Orchestra, uh, perhaps a little Lifetime, as well as Brand X. Okay, so there's that kind of uh, really uh, strong synergy, especially on you know on the soloing front between the guitars and the keyboards. All right, songs are pretty supercharged up. This this is uh, maybe not quite as uh, crazy frantic as uh, Aria, maybe not quite as gorgeously melodic as RT Mystery, and certainly not as avant-garde as Goblin. But uh, I, to me, they almost sound a little closer to classic Brand X, I think, out of all of them. But there are some Chick Corea-isms on the songwriting from time to time, which is kind of neat. Uh, not overly long tracks for the most part. I mean, you know, your typical fusion stuff, it uh, kicks off with Beneath the Geyser, which is just under um, about five minutes long. Pretty cool tune. Cool riffs and melodies in this one. Uh, Southeast Wind follows. That's also pretty strong. Uh, you've got Across the Indian Ocean. Really nice. That's got some kind of nice atmospherics going on. Really tasty keyboards. The guitar soloing from uh, Panisi is, is very strong throughout this entire album. you got uh, French Picadoris coming up next. Then the longest track at just about nine minutes is uh, Golden Idol, which uh, pretty intense song. A lot of good uh, instrumental exchanges going back and forth between these guys in that particular one. Sentimental lewdness, also pretty cool. There are definitely some burners on this album, which is kind of nice. Uh, just, again, there's a, a daringness of a lot of these fusion bands around this time period that I personally love a lot. I just, I like the fact that they're taking, uh, you know, little bits of jazz and certainly some rock and then progressive rock, which, you know, incorporates, incorporates you know, classical and jazz and avant-garde and rock and roll into one so pretty neat these bands there's so many of these groups right but these guys are pretty pretty special and then the album uh, finishes off with barbarian serenade which is another uh, great great track to kick to finish off the album it's 40 minutes right 40 minutes 41 minutes something like that just as long as it needs to be 
terrific from start to finish. This is one of those ones that uh, you know you will get done listening to, and you're like, yeah, I want to hear that again. And I actually, I haven't heard this again. I've had this since the '90s, and I probably haven't played this. You know, because when you have you know as many CDs as I have, it's there. There are just some releases that you you know you may not get, you may not listen to for a number of years. I couldn't even tell you the last time I heard this. Uh, it's been a while, but it's a damn great one, and uh, I've since listened to it like three times this week since I made the decision a couple of days ago that I was going to uh, pick this one for this week. So yeah, there you have it, Etna. Self-titled, 1975, is your forgotten favorites of the day. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. If you haven't checked out Etna, if you have no experience with this album whatsoever, please go check it out here on YouTube or on Spotify, wherever you can find it. Give it a listen. All right, let us know what you think. Uh, if you can hunt down a copy of the CD, or the LP, hey, go go on the hunt. That's what that's what makes this whole thing fun is trying to find some of these rarities. But uh, I'm assuming. You could probably get this if he's still if it's still in stock and and, and print. Uh, Greg Walker over at Symphonic Records probably has this. In fact, I think this that's where I got this from. To be honest with you, but uh, it's been a while, so who knows? But uh, yeah, so check it out. It's a good one. Etna, self-titled, 1975. It is your forgotten favorites of today. This is uh, the fusion genre. So uh, for all you fusion nuts, if you haven't heard this, go check it out. Visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on the mighty youtube all the damn time uh how you guys liking my new camera i'm just uh, i've been i used it yesterday for the two shows that we shot yesterday and uh, i'm digging the quality of it it also has a built-in microphone which uh, after yesterday's sh uh, recordings i did not like the microphone quality so i actually went back to my uh to my trusty blue right here and uh, I've got all sorts of things plugged in now so it's almost like you know now to, to do a show I've got to have multiple different devices to get exactly what I want but you know what got to do it because got to get the best quality so uh so yeah so there we have it so uh stay tuned we've got some uh, new product reviews coming in during the day today so uh you should see uh maybe one this morning and maybe a couple tonight so we've got the the new night ranger uh review coming up for you and then i got a few other things cooking uh hopefully i can get to the new pact and the new uh saint tropez uh or saint tropez saint tropez saint tropez however the hell you say that uh some cool more italian stuff so uh yeah a lot of cool stuff happening here guys so thanks for watching uh Visit us on the web at www.catranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. Coming up, Monsters Den tomorrow night. Mike Portnoy guest once again. We're going to rank our favorite David Lynch films, our five favorite David Lynch films, and then Friday morning at the Funhouse with Martin Popoff right around the corner where we will be ranking the albums of New Wave of British Heavy Metal Legends, Witch Find. So that's coming up. And then uh, Sunday album homework assignment once again so lots happening here on the channel stay tuned for all of it please subscribe if you haven't already click on the notification bell so you get notified of all of our content i just shared and i got my aftershave lotion just sweating all over my face gotta love it boy don't say it these first thing in the morning shoots <laughs> they are special um where was i Yes, uh, if you want to pick up some Sea Tranquility merch, there's the link to our merch page. Also, the link to our Ko fi page if you'd like to make a channel donation. And of course, the link to Sea of Tranquility.org, our webzine that has now been on the internet for 20 years. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Pete Pardo. See you later on. Take care. Bye bye.